Hey there, welcome back to Speed Skating Deconstructed, What Makes a Skater Great. Going back to 2019, Natalia Voronina set the world record in the ladies 5,000 up in Salt Lake City, naturally. That's where most, 90% uh, are. Calgary's the other place where they have them. But anyway, here's the race. And what I want to point out to you is how clean and great of ice feel Natalia has. She's super early, just super quick, moves with her lead skate, does everything we've been talking about on this channel. It's just so nice to see in one skater, both turns and straightaways. So she gets right into it early. I'm not going to show the whole race. If you want to see the whole race, you can find it online and watch a world record. But let's just look at a couple of things. Right away, she is into her straightaway phenomenally well. And again, we talk about lateral compression. Look how close our knees are together as she's coming through that hit zone and how early she moves with it. So that's one thing. Lateral compression, moving with the lead. I'll just put C for compression, NWL, move with lead skate. You do those two things, and you've got half the battle won. And you can just see how early she is. Watch this again in real motion, because it's, it's really fluid and really dynamic. One, one, one. There's no middle here, no middle. And that's the great thing you want to achieve because then you can get your pushes in early prior to the other skate coming down and you have much less friction. So you can just see how she's moving with this lead consciously and leaving this skate behind. So you get a lot out of the push early here and then she's out of there. Done. So that's her straightaway. Just really effective straightaway. I'm going to show you her turn here. And it's a nice entry. Again, this is only after 200 meters in the race, but she's already settled into a nice technique. What we can see, just how she's, I say, walking the turns. When you're in a distance race, it's not like a sprint race. You don't want to put everything you have into every push. It's a matter of calibration. So you kind of walk the turns. You put enough pressure into the ice to maintain your lap times, but no more, and no more extension or any of that crap because it'll waste energy and get in your way. So it's very simple, but as it is simple, look how excellent this flexibility is here through the hip and excellent drive forward it is from this left. And she does the same thing off the right. Just really good. And again, in a distance race, up a little higher, and that's to conserve energy. But notice how, watch it in fast motion, notice how cleanly she goes from skate to skate. It's really fast, really, really, you can see the recovery work into, this, into the next push. Recovery into push is a huge thing. So, especially as a distance skater, I believe, recovery into push. And the recovery is a function of the pushing leg. I'll say that again, it's a function. That means it happens because of what you're doing on the pushing leg. They're not separate things. Your recovery leg is a function of what this leg is doing. So right here, Natalie is focusing all on that pressure, coming down over it, moving into it, and this recovery is coming because she's doing so much to that skate, and therefore it comes down here. So you don't think about this recovery. You think about the skate you're pushing on. The recovery will get where it needs to go if you maintain solid pressure through that whole push and get off it early enough. And that's what she does so well. So let's just watch this whole turn again in slow motion. Just walk in the turn. Using her pair. There's another angle I want to show you right here. So here's her turn. Not a big fan of the looking down stuff, but worked for her. Blade angle, very good. Lines, clean. Let's see what happens here. Pressure on that right. Letting go. Yeah, it's nice. This is good stuff. 
all under her. You can really, it's palpable. You can see it. It's really under, she's got her pressure below her body weight. Nothing's riding out here or outside of this. So she's not stepping in too far. So she, her blade is straight up and down. She's not letting this slide out with no pressure on it. Watch, when she lets that go, it's off the ice and she's got the pressure on the left. So that's what makes this great. Immediate pressure and so fluid. So really great ice feel, great timing, and a great world record, 639. So that's Natalia Voronina from Russia today, teaching us about great ice feel, being fluid in your technique, and really good timing. So we'll see you next time on Speed Skating Deconstructed, what makes a skater great.